A former Vancouver police officer served 20 years in prison for a crime he says he didn't commit. And he's getting support from the two people who sent him to prison. K2 Susan Harding in Vancouver, where a judge heard from the victims who now say they were never abused. Ray Spencer's children are now in their 30s. His son says the abuse never happened. His daughter says she doesn't remember it. Both say they just want to give their father his life back. After the testimony, hugs and applause. An embrace between Matt Spencer and his father. 25 years ago, at age 9, Matt claimed his dad sexually abused him and his sister, Catherine. Today, they told a judge their father was always innocent. Just glad the truth is out. I'm glad it's over. Nothing happened. My father has never, ever, ever done anything wrong. This is a good man right here. This is a very, very good man. He loves his children. That's all he wants. That's all we need. After spending two decades behind bars, Spencer says what he needs is his name cleared. You know, I would like to see somebody step forward and say, you know what, we made a mistake. In 1984, he was a 37-year-old Vancouver police officer and getting divorced. His wife claimed he sexually abused one of his children at this Salmon Creek Motel. After his conviction, it came out a lead investigator was having an affair with Spencer's wife. Which is my, my opinion, they did uh, get together on this and uh, decide that the best way to do was to get me out of the picture. You know, it was not assumed that I would survive in prison. Policemen typically don't survive. Court rules prevent us from showing the faces of Matt and Catherine Spencer as they testified, since they are legally sex abuse victims. I always felt he was innocent, but whether in fact I could recognize it didn't come about until after I turned 18. This hearing is to clear Spencer's name. Washington's former governor already ordered his release from prison after learning about the investigator's affair, inconsistent testimony, and medical exams that showed no signs of sexual abuse. I'd never assumed I would ever get out. Uh, I, I just, it didn't look like it. I thought I would die in prison. In his 20 years in prison, Spencer got used to waiting. Now he waits again. I want my name cleared. The judge ruled today that Spencer's children testified consistently. Now this case will move on to the Court of Appeals. In Clark County, Susan Harding, K2 News.